Hi everyone, very, very welcome to Hellstrand. It's no secret that Corona has been a challenge this year, but therefore we have decided to take you to a visual tour at all our places, including the place in Wellington, almost new, renovated. Three, four weeks ago, we had our stallion presentation and therefore we decided this year to make it a little bit different. We want to show you some of the offsprings, especially from the older stallions. Then you can see what comes in in the future. End of the open house, we will announce the winners from our Facebook and Instagram competition. But before, we will start here where it all started, here at Hellstrand Dressage, Denmark, Uga Helne, Uga Town, which we call it sometimes just for fun. But now I will take you to the guided tour. See you. Hellstrand Dressage has been developed over the last 10 years. We are not only selling dressage horses all over the world anymore. We also have a huge stallion station together with our partner Paul Schockemüll. And I think we are now around six and a half thousand mares through our system. We also bought a part of Ludger Beerbaum and jumping horses together with uh, Rolf Jan Bengtsson. So I think there we have the best partners you can get. I'm very, very proud that we have partners like that in the house Hellstone now. We also bought a part of Kingsland clothing and other industries over the last two years. I'm very happy to be together with my partners Waterland because they have been helping me to yeah, develop the business, but also that I could live out my dreams to see how far I can get with the whole horse industry. We announced a few months ago Global Equestrian Group, which will be our new name for all the industries together. And our goal is to make and be the market leader in the equestrian world. Hellstrand now, with all our new investments, is around 250 employees, I think 650 dressage horses, yeah, and maybe 150, 200 jumping horses. So it starts to be a real, real business all over the place now. So I'm very, very excited to see the future coming. So to now we will start the tour 
and we will start by uh, Maria Anita Andersen. She's just over there at Hellstrom Academy. Enjoy the tour. Hello, welcome to Hellstrom Academy. My name is Maria Andersen and I'm the manager at this amazing place. Here we have 170 horses and there is 25 employees. Um, when the horses are broken in at Hellstrand Youngsters, they are brought here and then the, our job is together to educate the horses so they're ready for the sale on Hellstrand Massage. And now we will take you on a tour around this amazing place. Please enjoy. In 2018, we bought the place New Raunstrup. We call it Hellstrand Youngsters. Here, Esb Müller is in charge of finding the best foals we can get. We buy around 100 foals per year. Peter Kofod, he's the one who is the daily manager there, who's taking care of all the horses and breaking them in. I think we have around 250 horses over there for the moment. So now I will give it to Peter and Espen, who will give you a guided tour. Hi, and welcome to Hellstron Youngsters. My name is Peter, and I'm the daily manager out here. And out here at Hellstrand Youngsters, we uh, iron together with my team. We take care of 250 horses based on uh, 80 yearlings and 102 year olds. And then we have about uh, 70 uh, three year old and older horses. Their training is starting as soon as they uh, uh, will come to the place, as soon as they arrive. And then uh, to tie them up, to get them used to, uh, yeah. To the, to the necklace, to the head collar, to the lead rope, and to be together with people. So that's, uh, and that's also important for us. We are among the horses every day, uh, yeah, several times a day. So they are used to that we, uh, that we are there. They uh, are used to that, we, uh, that the human would be their friends for the rest of their life, hopefully. So that's, uh, that's important, but also the daily care. We are looking after small wounds and uh, what else that can happen uh, for the horses. Right now we are placed in the groups where uh, when we receive all the, the foals when they are six, six months old and then we start the careness of them here <coughs> and they are living in the group for the first year. In here they can go uh, in the group in the big box with the straw and then they also have their asphalt paddocks on the outside where they can go in and out and they can do that free and the whole day. So when, when the spring comes and uh, then these horses, they go, they go out on the grass field. Around on this farm, we have uh, 80 hectares of grass fields. So uh, they go out, then they uh, have the whole summer outside. And also uh, from the year when they go from uh, one to two years old, they stay out. We have some special fields here with uh, covered shelters for the horses, uh, yeah, water they cannot freeze and so on so that the, the horses can stay out. And that's mostly the stallions that stay out over the, over the winter. 
We have uh, 50 stables out here also. So when we uh, take the horses in from the groups, when we feel they are ready for that, then they come in the stable with the 50 horses. And uh, nearby the stable we, we have uh, a Bretund, a walker, and uh, our indoor arena to uh, break in the horses in. And um, during the day we train these uh, yeah, around 40 horses every day. I have a team uh, on uh, 10 people out here to uh, take care of the horses and uh, of course the farm also. And uh, among them there's uh, three riders. That is their main job is to, uh, to train and break in these horses. And my guess is that we break in uh, around 120 horses every year. Okay. The real training starts out here and it will start for, uh, for those who are uh, stallion prospects. will start uh, yeah, the early ones that go to the early pre-selections in Germany, they will start in June. And then during the summer we uh, take them in also for the Danish pre-selections and so on for the, for the stallions. And all the training for the stallions and for the pre-selections and the selections is going on here at Hellstrand Youngsters. When they are selected then they uh, will move on to Hellstrand Dressage. And those who are not selected and the other riding horses, they will move on to Hellstrand Academy for their further education there. So out here the goal is to, uh, to deliver some horses who is uh, yeah, used to the rider and used to all handling and then can continue the education at Hellstrand Academy or Hellstrand Dressage. My name is Espen. Peter and I want to show you some of the young horses, or actually some of the foals we bought last year. Actually, they are one year old now. But now we have uh, in the beginning of April, and uh, the foals are born now. So now in the next three months, May, April, May, June, are the big season for, for, the, for, the, for the foals. So um, actually my job right now is to drive around in all Europe and uh, look at uh, prospects here for, for Hellstrand uh, youngsters. And um, of course, when we buy the foals, we buy them uh, sometimes very, very young. Then we just see them again uh, when they're six months old, when they come here to Hellstrand younger, youngsters. The first day they get in here, we see him in the, in the arena. And then we actually f just see them again here in uh, April, just before they go into the fields. So um, what Peter and I, and I am gonna, gonna do now is um, to have a look at the youngsters and make some comments, and you know, so you can see how uh, how the foals we bought last year how they are developing, and also if we bought some yes last year, then maybe uh, it could be interesting to see what the same mare get for a, 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 what kind of foals she gets uh, this year, maybe from the same stallion or from a different stallion. But you know, so we always have in our minds how this particular uh, brood mare from a breeder, yeah, maybe here in Denmark or Germany or in, uh, in Holland, maybe see what, what she's bringing this year. So we can see what, what we have and maybe see what she gets next year. This one is by um, Vivino, out of a quarterback uh, foundation mare. The first uh, crop from uh, Vivino looks very uh, promising. And um, I think Vivino has also made a super career in sport. I've seen in him uh, recently uh, written by Thomas and uh, he's doing a super job at the moment. 
actually this time of the year is actually quite difficult to, to look at these uh, youngsters because now when they're one, one year old they actually grow totally apart and uh, some do it in uh, March, some just do it in May, some do it in, uh, in, uh, in July. It's, uh, it's not uh, so I can say yeah now they're not worth looking at. We look at them all at the f at at one time, and then uh, we make our comments and make our notes. And then when we see him see them again in uh, next January, when they are turning two, uh, it's actually fun to see how they were now and how they'll be in uh, in eight months. And uh, the most of them make a huge uh, development. So the next one is super interesting because uh, this is an offspring uh, by Jovian and then out of the mother of Total McLaren. Total McLaren is also one of our young stallions which uh, we have really high, ho high hopes in. And um, yeah, to finish the breeding, it's a, it's a Jovian out of um, De Niro Santo Hit. Actually, his uh, granddam is Silva Aster, and Silva Aster was uh, the best mare in uh, Oldenburg uh, as a three-year-old, and also won the Bundes uh, Championships uh, as a three-year-old in, uh, in Germany. Okay, this is maybe a little bit hard to uh, to judge this one because you know he's a little bit tense and running around with his tails up, but uh, that's pretty normal, you know, for a young horse. But you can still uh, see he has a lot of. Uh, a lot of quality, and you know, uh, it's very interesting to see these uh, young ones because uh, actually we can only see what we see, how they are to ride and all that stuff uh, afterwards. We just see when they get broken in as a three and a half year old. Yeah. Andreas, he loves uh, Jovian and he is, likes his rideability so much and uh, he has to show him uh, new tricks maybe once or twice and then he, he does them. And if he can pass that on to his offspring, we get a lot of super riding horses. Here we have a quote by Valverde Desperados Horsborn. In my opinion, a very interesting one. His movements are very good in all three gates. And as you can see yourself, he has a super technique. And if you look at his pedigree, he's very interesting also later on for a breeding, as a breeding stallion. His mother is actually the mother of Glock's Toto Junior. Toto Junior won the Judge Championships in 2020 with Edward Gall and will be one of the 
coming prospects for the coming Olympic Games in Tokyo. Of course, buying foals uh, is difficult. And if you buy coals at a young age, like we do, you know, they can develop in all kinds of different ways. Some turns out to be good horses, maybe a selling prospect, and some don't. But here at New Armstrong, of course, we have all the opportunities to make good horses with this very good facilities. And Peter and his team are doing a fantastic job in t taking the care of these young horses. This foal is uh, by um, our stallion Dan Chiro, out of uh, Bordeaux, Bordeaux first Heinrich Mehr. A foal we bought in, in Germany uh, last year. Maybe um, some of you uh, think, yeah, maybe his father Dan Chiro, maybe he's a little bit of a, kind of an old-fashioned stallion. But what uh, you can say about Dan Chiro is his super readability and. Um, if he can produce an offspring with this quality and these gates, and then get the, the rideability from the father. And it also could be a very interesting horse on the saddle when he gets uh, three years old and, and older. So the next one we have is uh, offspring by Franklin out of a Florencio Biotope mare. He's born in Sweden, this one. And um, of course we have seen a lot of offsprings by Franklin and a lot of them have been sold for top prices at auctions and uh, yeah, then everybody said, ah, they're not so good on the saddle and everything, but um, we must say now, we have seen a lot of them on the saddle now, and um, we are really happy what, uh, with what we see, and uh, he's almost uh, ready for, him, for Grand Prix himself. And um, I think over the years, we're gonna see a lot of uh, riding horses by, by Franklin. And this one, of course, you know, uh, he's big, has a super type, and extremely good gates in all three gates. Walk, trot, and canter, which is actually very important nowadays. As if you have a, a horse with only two good gates, maybe a, uh, the, the, the walk is not so good, you're lost. So you have to have three super gates, otherwise, you can really not get the, the high scores nowadays. So, because there are so many good horses and so many good riders nowadays, so if you have to do well, young horse competition and world championship for young horses but also up to Grand Prix, you have to have three good gates. That's very important. What do you think, Pete? Ah, I think this one got it all, huh? They got the softness in the, in the movement and they exactly. got the look. And it already now is one years old, so yeah, yeah, yeah. he owns the arena. Yeah, it's actually sometimes very funny. You can see uh, also as a f on a foal, uh, on a young age, that, that they know they're good. If they're good, it, it seems like they, they know that themselves. Yeah. One of the things I always look at when I look at a foal uh, if, uh, is, of course, the quality of the foal, but also the, uh, the pedigree. But what is a good pedigree? That's uh, a very good question, and uh, there's actually not, not, not a good answer. But what I uh, am looking at is 
there have to be some uh, performance on the father's side, but also on the mother's side. And um, over the years, we have been talking about uh, the soundness of the horses and the hardness of the horses and x-rays and all that kinds of stuff. Of course, those x-rays are important, but that's not a main thing. A horse can have a chip, you can remove the chip and the horse is super again. Uh, but, but the hardness on a, on a, of a horse is very, very important. And um, if you have a pedigree with a lot of sport horses, I'm not talking uh, young horse classes, but if the, if the f stallions in the pedigree or the mothers on the, in the mother line have produced Grand Prix horses or uh, Prix and George horses and uh, been showing and, and, and competed themselves and, and that level, that also show uh, some kind of, of hardness in a horse, and that's uh, very, very um, uh, important. And with these words, I would like to uh, pass the word to uh, Andreas, uh, which, uh, who is going to show you some uh, of the riding horses. Yeah, as Esmond he just told you guys, it's over here we bring the horses after they are broken in at Hellstrand Youngsters. And therefore we today want to show you some of our young offsprings from our super stallions. I think this is a really nice way to do everything that we put them in groups, that we first bring them to New Aunslop and the Hellstrand Youngsters and break them in. And after that we bring them over here and they get into the next level of education. So enjoy it. Rockabye, of course, one of the famous offsprings from Revolution. Silver medal at the Bundeschampionat. A horse with three super, super gates. Yeah, he has been, yeah, doing a super career so far with almost max in all three gates over nine. And I think here for a four year old with a lot of swing and self carriage and also yeah, on the diagonal is not so easy to go extended trot on a four year old horse. And uh, yeah, beautiful type here with a lot of talent, I think. A real dressage horse, also here the Kanda. Super, super Kanda. Uphill, active, stays together. You cannot imagine that this horse is only four year old. Very, very nice, yeah. And I'm sure you will also see now in the counter Kanda on this horse, this power and willingness to sit, which is yeah, unusual for a four-year-old horse at that time of the year. I think he could compete even the five-year-old classes uh, for the World Championship with very, very high marks already now. But that's what we see from the revolutions. They have a super ride ability and always like the father trying their best very good yeah super job from the rider and of course a very very talented horse here to the right the same also here he just stays together canter exactly the same as if he was doing a normal ride canter very good look at this super yeah and the walk not so much to say here in my eyes, he also have a yeah, nine and a half, ten walk. Super interesting horse here from Revolution.
another revolution mayor here, also written only a few months, was really successful as foal, winning some region as foal, and also here as three-year-old mayor last year, very successful in the mayor test. She had a break, we started her up now again, and here also a horse with three really, really, three really good gates, and again a very, very nice contact. Very good here. Yeah. Also here, yeah, very good walk. And uh, yeah, for a little time of riding, I think it's a very, very nice horse. Here we have Rose de Fontaine from Revolution. Chagall, she's four year old, only ridden four weeks. You see here a mare with super hind legs. And also here, amazing canter, really uphill and powerful behind. And the same here to the left, or left and right canter, equal and a very, very good walk. Loose in the body, really clear in the rhythm. Yeah, for me, it's a top horse, which we will see in the top of the World Championship in two years time. Look at this power here, super. Here, Revolution Offspring, we took it here to show you. It's just broken in, just broken in a few weeks. And um, yeah, I think it's, yeah, maybe maximum 10 times on the saddle, but look at this uh, quality here. Super active hind legs, top candor. Also fun for you guys to see horses, which is only ridden 10 times when the nature quality is there. I think we have seen from Revolution so many good offsprings with three top, top gates and a top rideability here. Here Ferrati, mayor from Franklin, which is unbelievable. I think she was foal of the year here and was sold on the auction for 150,000 when she was foal, of course. And now as three year old, we see she can still carry the big trot as we saw from foal. And here, I think, uh, yeah, for a young mare, it's sensational how this mare can carry herself with a big, big swing. Very nice horse. Also here, when she go forward, she really is growing in the trot work here. Yeah, and again, a super, super attitude. Very, very good. Also the candor here, a lot of quality. Big candor with, yeah, super active uh, hind legs here again. And look how steady she is in the contact into the trot here. Very good. Kanda forward here. Yeah. Also here, as you can see how she can make the Kanda bigger. Not only sitting, but also really in the forward. She is really, yeah, lengthening the stride. Very good. And remember all these horses here, they are only ridden a few months and uh, how we can see they can carry the rider is just amazing, I think. Very, very good. Super look into the trot here. And again, good walk. Very, very nice mare here, I think. A horse for the future. Here another fantastic young stallion here, 
by Franklin, four year old Flottenheimer. Look at this amazing trot, which it's unbelievable in, fro in front and behind. Look at here in the turns, how he carry himself with shoulder freedom, a lot of power in the hind legs, always neck steady. Very, very nice young stallion here. I really like this horse here. He has a big, big register, which we also have seen in many, many offsprings from Franklin. They are really, yeah, powerful in the trot, but also can go back, but also forward like here. Really super extended from a young horse here. The mother of this horse here, we also had at Hellstrand some years back. She was also outstanding. So very, very nice combination here. Super, super trot here. Also in the Kanda, look how this horse can sit. You can almost feel when looking here, how it would be to go into a period. Such a strong engine behind, willingness to sit. Very, very good here. Easy to collect, easy to go forward, and with a lot, a lot of strength behind. A lovely young stallion here from Franklin. We have seen so many good young horses here from Franklin over the last years. First as foal, where they were unbelievable, and now also on the saddle, where they are absolutely not disappointing. They are, yeah, from another planet. Very, very good. Also, look how he can come up straight away after the candle there. Also here in the circle. Really keep the beat. Always jumping off the ground like a rubber ball here. Very good. Super job also from the rider, Eric. But this horse here has something special, I think. We have seen a lot of offsprings with a lot of hind leg like himself from Franklin. But what we also have seen is very, very nice rideability from the offsprings here. Franklin himself is also really developing a lot and very close to compete into the Grand Prix now. Of course, Franklin himself is also a hot horse, but that's also what we want in the end for the big sport. And here also the offsprings the same. They are powerful, but also have a very, very good mind to work. And with the absolutely difficult part, they are fantastic, I think. With the Piaf and Passage will be amazing. Look at this here, super active behind here, very good. Franzi, a fantastic three-year-old stallion from Franklin here, with unbelievable power and yeah, super gate, super active behind, but also really, really nice in front here. Yeah, only ridden a few months also here, but you see already now the willingness and the way he can carry himself in the turns, really active in the hind legs, both in the trot and in the canter here. Very nice big canter, super, super uphill. Very good. Also here, yeah, very good walk. Still need to be relaxed, but you see the rhythm is clear. A top, top young stallion. We did some expansions over the last years. One of them is our place in Germany. Here, Eva and Ulf Müller is in charge and they will give you the guided tour. Before, I would just let you know that this place 
Personally, I think it's unbelievable pretty and we will have some amazing horses there in the future. Sales horses, but also a lot of the stallions will be based there over the breeding seasons. Enjoy this amazing tour. Welcome at our Hegstrand Open House Day. Let's have a look at Hegstrand Germany here in Silke. Dear friends of Hegstrand Dressage, Welcome to our new facilities in Germany. We moved in here last November 2020 with all the horses, with our family and all our employees. And we already feel very home. We want to present you our beautiful facilities with uh, 45 stalls, a huge 30 by 70 indoor, new outdoor ring under construction 20 by 60 meters, and also a huge outdoor field, which gives us the chance to train our horses, our young stallions in a perfect way, so that they also enjoy the time here, like we do. So please enjoy our day at Hegstrand Open House. After finishing the morning routine, we start training our horses. When the weather allows, we prefer to ride on the huge outdoor field because every horse enjoys the chance to go forward. Also our riders, Eva, Maxi and Leonie feel the same. With these three beautiful horses, we can show the different services we offer. Danciero, presented by Eva, is one of our breeding stallions. Yopi, shown by Leonie, is a horse we train for American clients. And Maxi presents Haydn, one of our sales horses.
indoor arena, we do the more serious training. For example, Eva is preparing global player for the five-year-old championships. Communication between rider and trainer is one essential part of the training sessions. What is better after work than a nice relaxing time in the paddock? So, and now we're here in my favorite part of this, of this stable. This is the so-called EU station of our breeding stallions. Thanks to Andreas, we have outstanding stallions here at Süke and one of the most favorite stallions in Germany. For example, this here is Finchetten. He was winner of the last OLD saddle licensing and he was winning the Bundeschampionat last year. And then we have here Total McLaren, Totila's offspring, who came from the last licensing in, in the Netherlands, from the neighborhood. Here we have a little Zachary offspring from the Hanoverian licensing. And here is Global Player. He was winner of the Oldenburg licensing. And last year, second in the Bundeschampionat with high, high top scores for his skates. I really like to ride him every day.
But ladies and gentlemen, it's not only living on a wonderful property, it's not only training wonderful horses, it's not only having magnificent stallions, it's also selling horses and see them leaving, in this case, to another happy client. It's not only in Germany we have a new place. We also have a brand new place in Wellington, Florida. It's almost new renovated and to be honest, I haven't seen it myself because I couldn't get there over the last months. Ulf Müller has been there over the last four months and been selling a lot of horses this season. And Andrea Wudat will be in charge during the year. And I'm sure these guys will give you an amazing guided tour on this spectacular place we have there in Wellington. Welcome friends of Höxbrand Dressage to our new facility in Wellington. My name is Ulf Möller and I'm the General Manager International and uh, yeah, my main job here is to sell horses, to train horses and to uh, keep the contact to our clients in America during the season in Wellington. Our company is growing and growing in different directions and uh, Hextrand USA is an important part of this. People uh, which uh, started to know us here in Wellington during winter, they come to um, Europe during summer also to look at horses and when they see the same faces over there, it makes uh, a lot of confidence and, and convince them to, to buy horses also during summer. My name is Andrea Woodard. I work here at Helkstrand Dressage as um, a backup to Ulf Müller and as the year-round sales and barn manager at their new Helkstrand USA Dressage facility here in Wellington, Florida. When you come here to us, we really want you guys to feel welcome. It can be an impressive property, but we really hope that you feel that we are welcoming you, that it's a nice, friendly atmosphere. We really pride ourselves with keeping this place as beautiful as it now is after all the renovations. And we can't wait for you guys to come and meet us all in person and also see the place. We have the chance to work on a beautiful facility here in Wellington. Uh, the whole property is 80 acres, so it's one of the hugest places here. And, uh, with a lot of hacking ways, with uh, 52 stalls, with a new built indoor arena, 25 by 65 meters. So I think uh, the best circumstances for our horses that we are bringing over here from Europe. We have an outdoor arena and then we have lots of turnout for the horses. So it's a very horse friendly environment, which we are so happy about. When you come here to Helkstrand Dressage, we have this beautiful entryway. So if you would be driving up, this is what you would see. You would see our beautiful barn that we have just redone with the nice logo on. And that would be your introduction to our facility here. We have the original building right here behind me. We upgraded it a little. We have made it nice and new with white. We have changed the roofs. We have lots of tack-up stalls. We have six wash racks. So this is to show you guys, um, this is the original barn, original stalls, but we, we oiled them up and we um, renovated inside. We have painted and made the whole thing a little bit lighter. And um, yeah, I think the stalls in uh, American measurements are 12 by 12. And it seems to work really well for the horses. They're all happy campers here. The stables have been made in a good, in a good way. It's nice and quiet for them. 
especially here in Florida, we need to think about the heat. So I think that so far, we've only been here in the winter time, but it seems to be nice and cool for them, um, which will be great. We, they all have fans so that we can cool them down on the extra hot days. We have a really nice overhang. So um, also gives them a little bit more shade. Normally the other barns I've been at don't have that. And then the sun really hammers on their windows. So everything here, we're just really trying to keep them as comfortable as we can on a all year round basis. Upstairs, we have now two apartments. One is made for Andreas and Marianne, so that when they come to visit us here, they have a place to stay on the property. Uh, the other one upstairs is for our riders when they are here. And uh, we have downstairs also made grooming apartments where the staff is able to stay here also. I think the, the biggest difference from Hellström Dressage, Hellström USA to other farms is that we are really only a commercial barn. All the horses we bring here are for sale. It's not like other barns, they bring four horses to compete, they want to keep, and then they bring two or three sales horses to finance the whole adventure. Now, all our horses are for sale. Every horse that comes here is uh, for business. And also having clients here is a little bit like a part of the business. The concept of this barn is really, really like a training barn, training and sales barn. We don't have breeding here because uh, for us it makes more sense to uh, import uh, horses, trained horses. The market here in Wellington is a little bit different than the European market. So after four years, years coming here now, uh, we know quite well what we need and we try to find these horses in Europe to bring them over here. We start working uh, 7 o'clock in the morning, which means like we start riding 7.30. On a normal day with the riding, we are done by lunchtime, noon. Because our job is not you know, to train the horses, to educate the horses, we keep them fit, we keep them happy, that the clients like them and that often when the clients are coming in the afternoon, uh, uh, that they can ride them and, and that there is like a leftover of power and we are not always making them tired. What we always have to take care for is like the horses come from cold Europe so they need really two three weeks to to arrive here to get used to the warm weather but then afterwards it's fine. We've done well this year a lot of horses have sold I think we were all nervous not knowing what would Covid bring um, but we have had a lot of interest for our horses, we've sold a lot. So we have always around 20 sales horses here and we run the whole thing with three riders and three grooms. I'm also riding a little bit to keep fit, that's how we run it. The other wing of the building is uh, rented out to clients, so that the whole property holds like around 50 horses when everything is full. I see this, this Helkstrand brand just going bigger and bigger and becoming global. And uh, the U.S. market is huge and I think it's important to have presence here. Uh, in the beginning, a lot of Americans would always go to Europe to try to find their horses and now we are bringing the European horses here to town. And you get uh, typically more horses on one property if you come to our place versus, you know, there are more uh, sales farms in, in this town, but it's smaller volume. So we have a lot of horses for you to come and look at and that we find and source the ones that we feel really matches well for the American market. And those horses are what we're gonna have here and we are based now year round here. So I think it really shows that we're serious about uh, also the US and that we want to help expand and grow um, the sport in this country. Here in uh, Wellington, we have the winter season with a lot of uh, national and international dressage shows. That brings a lot of clients here, here. that brings a lot of interested people. And uh, yeah, establishing now this facility here and also showing that we really take it serious 
uh, brings the clients to us. They know if they are not happy with the horse, they can come back, they can get a new one. And um, yeah, that again brings a lot of confidence and clients are coming back, especially this season. We had a lot of clients who were clients before and now they bought the second, third horse. And that is what we want. We want that they come back in a dream world. They come here in generations. For me, what is, is unique and, and also having, you know, now I just stepped back on board with them. But uh, when I was here for the, I came in 2015. So what is this five years that I've been basically doing a little bit on my own. Um, and I have brought clients here where I was free to go and, and source horses from anybody. And we still chose to go here because I, I, trust, I trust them. I trust that I can ask them questions and get legit answers. Uh, and I feel comfortable when I'm asking a client and, and they put their trust in me to say, this is a horse that would you know, fulfill your needs. I, I feel comfortable you know, dealing with these people and that we can come back if something goes wrong and we can, there, there's a solution to the problem. I also like that you know now we have this other wing that's full of clients. These are a, a lot of people that have already purchased one or several horses and they, they like to be around us. I feel like we make a nice environment for them, a good training environment. If we have the time, we're more than happy to help them also develop their horses, you know, ride them, uh, train them, go with them to the competitions. This is all the part of the package. And, you know, if you buy a horse and you have trouble, we can go there, we can help. We're only interested in, in you know, really doing that full service. And that now you have in the US, you have it in Denmark, you have it in Germany, you know, more little branching out places around the world. I think that clients are have, will have a hard time finding a, a brand where there will be more availability for good knowledge and help. Another thing, especially here in the US, and I feel that's why a lot of people w would fly to Europe, because in Europe you have there's a lot more horses to see in, what would you say, a closer proximity. When you go here in the US, the country is so huge, you find a horse, you have to book a ticket, you fly out, the horse is not what you imagined, you spend a lot of time, a lot of money on maybe seeing one or two, you come here to us. We typically can show you between five and six horses within you know, your budget and what you're searching for. And I, I think, to me, it's a no-brainer. They're much easier, and you can see a variety of, yeah, of different type sizes and find your dream partner. I foresee that we're going to start to have uh, continuously, you know, horses here, bringing over when we need, and as we see what the demand is, it's easier for us to then ship horses over that we know that our clients are going to be interested in, in having. You know, so if we start to have demand for a certain a type of horse, like we need more pre-St. George horses, or I have, you know, several clients looking for Grand Prix and we feel that we need more here, now it's an option. Before it wasn't really a part of it because it was just a rental facility. I think that now you will see that we will have really, really quality horses that is interesting for people to fly maybe here instead of all the way to Europe. We will have those horses available. and. For me, that is one of the biggest things to now say that we are here, we're a year around, we want to have really good quality um, sales horses available for everybody and that we want to have year round. Of course, we understand that most people are here in season, but we have success with selling also in the off season. I think it's just a matter of having the right horses available. When people know that they can go here and we have it, they will continue to come. I think, uh, you know, for me, Helkstrand is very unique. I, I love the environment. I love the people that work here. I love the way that we're all just interested in, in making the clients happy and find the right match. And what I really like here is that we're here for you. You can come back, you can talk to us. It's a nice safety net when you want to buy a very expensive horse. 
and uh, you're scared of something going wrong, which is natural. I think it's good to have a company that stands by their products and are looking for success stories. And we have so many, and that's why you see a lot of the clients coming back. Thanks for now and for being part of this visual tour. It's a little bit different, but I hope you enjoyed it anyway. We also hope that soon the Corona time will be over and we can enjoy all the events and see each other in the future. Bye for now and stay safe.